Deuteronomy chapter number 2 beginning with verse 30 from the New Living Translation of the Bible but King Sihon of Heshbon refused to allow us to pass through my God because the Lord your God had made Sihon stuck and defiant so he could help you defeat him as he has now done. Then the Lord said to me, look, I have begun to hand King Sihon and his land over to you. Begin now to conquer and occupy the land. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen, amen, amen. amen. For a few moments, on today, I want to talk to you from the subject anchored in assurance. Anchored in assurance. And I want you to come to the mindset that you can trust God through every storm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can trust God. Yeah, you can. In every storm. Thank you, Jesus. Anchored in assurance. Wardell Stephen Curry the second, who may be appearing on your monitors, known to us Deacon Woods as Steph Curry, Amen. of the Golden State Warriors, is probably the greatest three-point shooter we and the game of basketball has ever witnessed. All right. <clears throat> we got some Golden State fans in the house. For those of you who don't know, Brother Curry has the God-given ability to shoot the basketball from almost any place on the basketball court. And if you follow Brother Kirk, Brother Slater, you can see him do some phenomenal shots off the basketball court. During the Olympics in Paris, which just recently concluded, the USA men's basketball team brought home the gold medal. All right. However, there were a couple of games when the world thought Team USA would not emerge victorious. All right. But it was Brother Kirk and his shooting that helped Team USA avoid defeat. His abilities carried them through very difficult moments. Are y'all with me? As we know, Steph Curry shoots the three-pointer exceptionally, especially a wide-open three-pointer. Deacon Woods, he'll release the ball, turn his back, and head down court. My brothers and my sisters, this tells me that Brother Curry has confidence in his skills Amen. and abilities. Not only is he a good basketball player, he is a phenomenal three-point shooter at the three-point line. What I'm trying to say is that Brother Curry's confidence 
is anchored in the assurance that he possesses the qualities and the abilities necessary for success. Amen. As children of the king, my brothers and my sisters, we need to have confidence. And our confidence should be anchored in the assurance that God possesses the qualities and the abilities to help us succeed when we navigate our daily lives. Yeah, yeah. Having confidence means having a strong belief in our own abilities, qualities, or our judgments. Confidence is the awareness of feeling that we can depend on someone or something, and it means having what I call a firm trust. When we talk about firm trust, we are referring to a solid belief in the reliability, the truth, and strength of someone or some things. Many of us came here on today. And before we checked the pew, we sat down on the pew. Because we had confidence that the pew could hold our weight. Trust, my brothers and my sisters, involves accepting that a person, organization, or system will act as expected or promised. Mm -hmm. Having confidence in God, we must trust Him yes. because we have confidence yes. in Him. Yes. Do we trust that God can do what He said He's going to do? Do we have trust that God is a sustainer, a healer, and a way maker? We have confidence in God because of who he is. God has an impeccable track record. He's changed water to wine. He's healed the sick. He's raised the dead. Yes. And not only has he raised the dead, he conquered death and the grave. Oh, yes. I don't know about you all today, but I got confidence oh, yes. in God. Uh -huh. But see, if we're going to have confidence in God, we got to do our part as we cultivate our relationship with him. Right. See, understand, Sister Sue, God is always there. But even in the midst of God being there, we got to show up. Yeah. Somebody missed that. God is always there. He's always close. He never left us nor forsake us, but it's us that are absent when he's present. So we got to learn to show up because God is always here. But see, our relationship with him, it enables us to depend on his guidance and support as we face challenges day in and day out. And my brothers and my sisters, we are going to face some challenges. But see, confidence in God Jesus glad it goes beyond merely acknowledging that he's God. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We already know that he's God and he is all powerful but it involves us intentionally being involved with God every day. Amen. Not just on Sunday from 11 to 1.30. All right. We have to have a relationship with God 24-7. Yeah. Right. 365 in order to leave here 366. Right. Having confidence in God means surrendering our worries and anxieties to him. My father used to say, take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. When you feel like picking them back up, put them back down. And let God handle your lightweight. But see, we have to surrender our words. 
We have to surrender our anxieties. We have to surrender our families. We have to surrender our work situations. We have to surrender our health to God. We got to do what we're supposed to do, but we have to surrender our health and our things to God and allow Him to work them out according to His will. We have to trust that God can do what He said He's going to do. But as we face trials, and as we face obstacles, understand, well, listen, it's easy to get distracted. Because many times, we want to focus on the problem and not the problem fixer. But you have to understand that we must keep God in the equation. Because, Sister Rose Frank, when Jesus is in the equation, Amen. I know that everything is going to be all right. Amen. Health problems. Plus Jesus. Plus Jesus. Equals victory. Amen. 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 Say it again. Financial problems. Hallelujah. Plus Jesus yes. equals abundance. Amen. Amen. And now in Jesus uh-huh. is in the equation. Yes. Everything is going to be all right. And we have to embrace this truth, way That no matter what it looks like to our human eyes, everything is unfolding and orchestrating according to how God wants it to be. Uh Uh Finally, confidence in God, diamond in this journey, it involves depending on God. It involves being interactive with his word. You cannot be interactive with the word if you don't pick it up. (laughs) You cannot deepen your understanding of God and how he moves if you're not engaged with the word. So it's critical if we're going to deepen our understanding as we go to possess the land, we must be a church of the word. All right. A church without, without the word is just a club. Right. Yeah. Preach, Pastor. Well, y'all doing the best I can. <laughs> That's all right. We have to constantly remind ourselves of his ability Amen. to accomplish the impossible. Amen. And as we acknowledge his ability to ourselves, it is our mandate that we encourage one another to be better. Together, we need to begin to declare God can do anything but fail. The song where it says, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights, I'm getting each and every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. And don't stop there. Say, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. By faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just need the Lord to lift me up. As we reflect on today's passage. We see that King Sihon, the king of Heshbon, we understand from last week's sermon that he refused to allow Israel to pass through his territory. Amen. The text 
It indicates to us that Israel wanted peace. They just wanted to pass through yes. with no problems and no repercussions. But see, the king denied this. He denied their passage because the Lord had made his spirit stubborn. And his heart obstinate. This revealed, my brothers and my sisters, that throughout Israel's journey to the promised land, God was actively orchestrating the events around them. Amen. Not only did he shape their circumstances, but he also provided guidance and support every step of the way. Amen. Understand that God shapes your circumstances. Yes, he does. Yes, he does today. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This passage, it reassures us of God's presence. Amen. 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 Sometimes it feel like you're out there all alone. Sometimes it feel like nobody understands what you're going through. Amen. But isn't it good to know that when you're out there, mm -hmm. God is right there with you. Yeah. Yeah. He is there, to, he is present. But sister, so not only is he present, he guides us every step of the way. And as he guides us, Stacy, he provides us provisions along the way. As believers, Connected to God. Isn't it good to know that we already stand in victory? Amen. Already done. Even in the midst of our struggles. On this pathway to victory, we find comfort in knowing that God is leading, God is guiding, and God is protecting us. Additionally, God offers that support. When we face challenges, do I got some folks that ever had some difficulties? I think we all stay at night on every other like, But in the midst of those difficulties, when you look back over your life, you were able to stand and withstand all the issues that came your way. Why? Because God was with you. I got some, I don't know if he would be with y'all, but he been with me. There's some times, Sister Sue, when I felt like giving up. There's some times when I felt like throwing in the town. But God said, get back up again. The fight ain't over. As we continue in the text, God tells Moses he has begun to deliver King Sihon and his land into their hands, instructing him to conquer and to possess. This demonstrates to Israel and to us in 2024, the assurance of God's divine intervention. Uh -huh. Amen. And when God intervenes, oh, yeah. what it does, it turns a negative into a positive. Oh, yeah. When God intervenes, it turns our failures as humans into spiritual success. So divine intervention, I want you to hear because this applies to 2024. When God steps in, it guarantees success. Now, they might, there might be some bumps and bruises that lead to our success, but Marie, those bumps and bruises build our character. All right. All right. So we come out of the storm better than we went in. 
God's divine intervention leads to success in our endeavors. And this is because of God's promises and his guidance. Okay. Remember that he promised never to leave us nor forsake us. See, he never said, talking to David now, so I want y'all to listen. He never said we went in through hard times. That's right. He didn't say. He never said we wouldn't be broken hearted. He never said we wouldn't be disappointed. But the promise is, I will never leave you nor forsake you through the issues, through the storm. I will be right there. It is essential. For us to realize that regardless of what we face, Mother Williams, God is always with us. When things are good, God is always with us. Elder King I hear When things are not so good, God is with us. This should encourage somebody else. Yeah. If you're in the crowd, or if you find yourself all alone, guess what? Now y'all can help me on today. All right now, God is with us. Recognizing God's presence. And that's what I want you to take from this message. I want you to begin to recognize God's Presence. But see, God's presence, it encourages us to acknowledge His active involvement in our lives. I know it may not look like it all the time. But Jason, God is actively involved in everything that we say. And everything that we do. And when he's actively involved, he is consistently instilling in us his power Amen. and the ability to stand firm when difficulties come our way. Amen. Let me ask you a question. Are you able to stand differently today than you did five years ago? And we're able to stand differently because see, the Bible said God is our refuge. God is our strength. And he's an ever-present help in times of trouble. And the psalmist goes on to say because he called that an advantage, we don't have to be scared of nothing that comes our way. So when we put this all together, Melissa, we understand that God is our help yeah. in difficult circumstances through his divine assistance. We understand that he helps us by fulfilling his promises. And this brings us a renewed hope Amen. as believers. See, I want you to understand the theme of this text. Calls us to have confidence in God's provision and his help, especially during hard times. Amen. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, we can conclude that God is actively involved in shaping our journey individually and as a church. All right. He's actively involved even when obstacles and difficulties present themselves. Yes. Furthermore, we understand that God, that, that, that challenges may be a part of God's plan. But ultimately, these challenges lead us to be victorious. Yes. Like you said, you're better now than you were then. Yes. You're on your way to victory in God. But furthermore, we 
we comprehend that during these difficulties, and we do agree that we're going to have difficulties, we can trust in God's presence and we can trust in God's help. So today, we can find confidence in God's promises. How do we do that? We do a connection. We connect past divine intervention All right, with the challenges we face today. If he brought Israel, Amen. digging his bull out of the wilderness, what do you think he gonna do for us? He's gonna bring us out. Tell your neighbor, to the man said it, he'll bring you out. So come on, let's say it. As we hold on to the promises God has for us. Yes. How can we find confidence in his power in uncertain times? Sister Stacey, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Number one, we find confidence in recognizing God in every moment we embrace and in every situation we face. Psalms 46, verse number 10. Deacon Woods tells us to be still and know that I am God. Being confident in God is a call to be still and know or acknowledge yes. who he is. Yes. Yes. Do we know who he is? Yes. 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 In a fast-paced and complex world filled with uncertainty, it's essential for us as believers yes. to recognize God in every aspect of our lives. By being mindful of his presence in each moment, we become more sensitive to the needs of other people. All right. And we develop a heart of gratitude and faithfulness towards God. This practice grounds us and it helps us see the bigger picture. See, it's bigger than us. It's even, even bigger than HMBC. This is a kingdom thing. All right. All right. All right. It helps us see the bigger picture in the midst of the distractions that life will throw at us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Point number one, we ought to recognize God in every moment. But not only are we to recognize God in every moment, point number two, we begin to rely on the most high. When we begin to rely on the most high, what we find is the strength we need and the reassurance that we need in his power to intervene and sustain us through hard times. Okay. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all somebody help me out. I can do all, all things through right. Christ who strengthens me. See, understand on today, we can do the impossible. I don't think you believe me up in here. We can do the impossible if it's the will of God and he gives us the strength to do it. In 2024, we face some interesting and complex challenges. We have personal struggles, issues in society. Sometimes we have church complications. And we have 
crisis globally. But see, in the midst of these complications, relying on God's strength is essential. And finding reassurance in his power will bring us comfort. All right. When we do this, it addresses our feelings of being overwhelmed daily. It addresses our feelings of being frustrated. It addresses our feeling of being discouraged and it encourages us as children of God to walk by faith even in the midst of trouble. Number one, we recognize God in every moment. Point number two, we rely on the most high for strength. Tell yourself, I can do all things. But last but not least, point number three, we find reassurance with the understanding that God's power not only strengthens our faith, but it also empowers us to be content where God has placed us. And where God has placed us, if you're from Chicago and you end up in New York, God gives you the heart to live boldly for his glory. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. HMBC, because we got Holy Ghost power, we have the power to be good stewards. We have the power to be good witnesses. And we have the power to live it out. Yes. No matter what comes our way. So point number one. We recognize God in every moment. Amen. Point number two. We rely on the most high for strength. Hallelujah. Yeah. Point number three. We grasp the fact that God's power not only strengthens our faith, but it also empowers us to bloom with God's plans. The songwriter said, there are some things I may not know. There are some places I cannot go, but I am sure of this one thing, that God is real, for I can feel him in my soul. This God is real. He's real in my soul. This God is real. He's watched and he made me whole. His love for me is like pure gold. This God is real. For I can feel him in my soul. My brothers and my sisters, there will be times when we will deal with the unforeseen but we can find confidence in God's promise sometimes it seems like the bad outweighs the good we can find confidence in God's promise in our weakest moments the enemy may try and come against us we find confidence in God's promises in the shadows of doubt when the pathway it feels unclear when the storms of life they rage and they come to consume us when dreams seem distant and hope seems out of reach my brothers and my sisters we find confidence 
in God's promises, yeah. in the silence of loneliness, yeah. when the spirit begins to grow low, yeah. when our hearts are burdened yeah. and filled with grief and despair, in our moments of weakness, yeah. when our courage takes flight, we can find confidence in God's promise. Remember, God's promises are essential. They are the fuel of our progress. God's promises, they are essential. They give us a greater, a greater sense of courage. Remember, God's promises are essential. They give us strength in our times of weakness. And we can declare on today, not my father, not my mother, but a need of the Lord. We are standing at the need of the choked up prayer. Not my brother, not Tiffany, but it be your Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Somebody declared me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. See, Sister Sue, when that prayer hits God's throne, we are anchored in assurance when the power of His touch strengthens our feeble bodies. We are anchored in assurance. See, when His love fills our hearts. And his joy illuminates our soul. We are anchored in his assurance. But the light of his grace begins to remove our fear and doubt. The mercy begins to flow like a river, refreshing our soul when every mountain seems to come and every valley runs deep. We can be reassured. We are anchored in assurance. When the promises of joy dance in our spirit, when the fragrance of his peace saturates our mind, when the horizon grows, with the dawn of a brand new day, we are anchored in his assurance. See the songwriter said, just as I am without the plea. The fact that love was shed for me, and that thou bids me come to thee, the Lamb of God, here I come, ain't you be seen, we're coming for the promises, we are coming for the promised land, we are coming to take back our families, we are coming for restoration, we are coming for reconciliation. We are coming for revival. HNBC. We are coming so we can find higher heights. See, we're coming for joy. We're coming for more peace. We're coming for more love. See, the songwriter said, He abides in me. He gives me sweet victory. I need somebody to declare, God never fails. You keep your faith and never cease to pray. The walk of right from his noon day and night. Sister so here be there. Brother Ronnie, here be there. There's no need for us to worry because God can never, somebody say never, God never, he never fails. If we're going to be anchored in assurance, trusting God through every storm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Number one, just the pattern we must learn to recognize God in every moment. Point number two, Jelani, we rely on the most high 
for strength. Yes. Oh, yes. And last but not least, we recognize that God not only strengthens our faith, yes. but he empowers us to bloom where he planted us. Yes. The songwriter says, it's me. It's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Oh, yeah. Do I got some folks that are standing in the need of prayer? Yeah. Praying that the angel in God's assurance so we can stand and withstand anything that the enemy throws out of the way. It's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. The Lord of the church of Rome. Uh -huh.